There's a Facebook group for everything, from your typical hobby and parent groups to more unique groups like this one, where everyone pretends to be in a community of ants. Groups are so popular, millions of people use them as their main source of information, and this makes them a gold mine for Facebook. It doesn't even have to pay the people running them. Generally, the administrators are volunteers who can spend hours each day deciding whether it's OK to approve posts claiming the Earth is flat or Meghan Markle is a robot, or discussing more serious matters, of course. These admins are often targets for abuse because there's always someone who's not happy if a post is or isn't approved. Oh, and there's also no training required for the job, which is one of the reasons many groups have become havens for misinformation. It's why Facebook is being urged to provide group admins with more training and support. Russell Redmond recently quit his job of two years as a volunteer admin for a Tasmanian Facebook group with 32,000 members. I just had to deal with constantly approving really terrible posts. It involved checking Facebook hourly to decide whether to approve posts. He quit when he realised sifting through angry rants and conspiracy theories was making him pessimistic and distrustful. I spent a solid year just in a constant grump, you know, just, you know, old ladies would smile on me up the street, I'm like, yeah, right, I don't trust you. Liz Crane has had a completely different experience as admin of a Facebook parent support group. As it's run by a professional organisation, strict rules have been put in place that keep trolls out and provide clear guidance. An example is, you know, my child has this rash and you pop a photo up on the group and then you get 50 comments of people saying it might be this, it might be this, it might be this, that that's actually really, really dangerous. Groups that don't have strict guidelines have been blamed for spreading hate speech and misinformation during the coronavirus pandemic. More than 1,000 businesses boycotted advertising on the platform during July to push Facebook to act. Are you willing to stand up to the hateful groups who use your platform to amplify and organise? A lot of these groups are private. People can share things that they probably wouldn't otherwise post on a, a more public network like Twitter. Facebook is being urged to stop relying on group members to report problematic content and double the number of professional moderators who could randomly check groups and support administrators. And maybe to have a system where admins could elevate something that they just don't feel comfortable dealing with. Facebook says its admins do have access to support. It also just banned hundreds of groups tied to a worldwide conspiracy theory. Angela Ross, ABC News.